So what's better on Zoom? To have a static background or to have a motion background? Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. Virtual backgrounds can be a lot of fun and a way to give you a little bit more professional look. But is it really professional to have a motion background? First of all, um, this isn't realistic. I would not be sitting this close to the beach, although it's nice, but it's a little distracting. Are you really looking at me or are you trying to look beyond me into the background? Versus keeping it very to the point, very professional, very clean. Have what you want people to remember and that should be you and whatever is in the background. So my personal advice for business owners and entrepreneurs using Zoom is to stay professional and stick with professionally designed static background. If you need assistance having a background or even getting your virtual background set up, please don't hesitate to leave some questions in the comments below or just reach out to us directly.